I've been through a lot of different storms and I've seen a lot of them pass us. I remember Hurricane Hugo was coming through and it moved one degree and it hit Charleston instead of here. Had that did not happened, we would have been in a different position. So understanding that you're putting yourself at risk, your family, and your livelihood at risk is right. most important to, to right. heed the right. warnings of those officials. So it's interesting, you know, that the last two that really affected us, Hurricane Matthew and then, and then Irma, you know, Matthew was more wind um, and rain, and Irma was more tide. And, you know, it, it, it rushed up and it gave us water that was uh, really up, up, to your, up to your thighs in certain areas. So every storm is different in how it, it approaches uh, the area and what the effects are. We want everyone to evacuate if that order is given. However, I think our biggest issue with Matthew in the aftermath was the people rushing back to the island and then those that stayed. So our priority when we come back on the island is rescue, anyone we need to rescue, but it's opening roads and critical infrastructure to get the island back up and running. So we're, when we're out clearing roads and people are driving around or people are out trying to help clear roads, um, we saw a lot of injuries after Matthew, a lot of chainsaw injuries, people using chainsaws that had probably never used them before or probably shouldn't be using them. So I just urge people to be patient, especially when we come back and wait for all of that stuff to open because we won't open the island back up until some of the critical infrastructure is back up and running and all the roads are clear. Wait for those orders to be lifted by the governor so that you know you can get back on the island. Don't sit in traffic for hours or, or even a day or whatever the case may be. Uh, but wait until that is done and know that when it does happen, there's going to be 40,000 plus people trying to get back on the island. So you just need to have patience. The key to all of this is patience. Um, develop your plan based on what you have. So if you're traveling with a dog, you know, or your dogs or cats or whatever it may be, make sure you pack enough water for them, their food. Uh, most animals have a toy that they like, you know, a toy. Make sure you have a crate because depending on where you're going, you may need a crate. If you end up having to end up in a shelter, you're going to be required to put that put your put your animal in a crate while they're while they're in that in that shelter. The important thing is to if if nothing else, um, have pre-identified locations to go. You know, pre-identified areas that you want to go. Pre-identify hotels or family members or whatever the case may be that you want to go to. That's the key. Even if you're going to wait for that last minute and, and scramble, if you've at least got those locations figured out, that way you can at least get to a safe area and there's resources for you there, food, water, and those types of things. Know that the timing of your evacuation needs to be set in a way that you're certain to get off and to get to your destination because you're going to have others leaving as well. Um, pick your routes that are best. Know that if they're coming from Hilton Head or if they're coming from Beaufort or Edisto or Charleston or further south, that you're going to have to figure out a way to get to your destination the quickest and safest way. At, uh, social media, you need to be really careful. Follow trusted sources. That's government sources, South Carolina Emergency Management Division. Beaufort County Sheriff's Office, Emergency Management, and of course, the town of Hilton Head Islands, Emergency Management, and trusted local media for that information. And wait for those orders, again, to be lifted. And that was the biggest problem. People were following these private uh, Facebook pages and were giving bad information. So that's what we urge you to do. And the biggest question we had during during all the hurricanes, when, when are we closing the bridges? We don't close the bridges. That's a South Carolina Department of Transportation uh, issue there. But we do urge you to stay off the bridge when you get winds and upwards of 30 miles an hour. So remember that it becomes extremely unsafe. So when it does hit, and if you happen to be here, stay home. Don't go out because you don't know where there's live power and you could get electrocuted. You don't know when a tree is going to fall. We saw that in Matthew that the root system became very weak and we were having falling trees, not only for the couple days after, but for months after the storm itself. So. There's a, there's a great time to be aware, situational awareness around yourself <clears throat> to make certain that you and your family are safe. I think evacuation is key. Um, when the governor orders an evacuation, um, everyone does need to leave because at some point we probably will need to be as well. Um, at that point, emergency services will cease to um, be deployable on Hilton Head. Yeah, and when we can come back on, we're dealing with um, anyone that's left in emergencies. We dealt with it at Matthew. Some people stayed. As soon as we came back on the island, we were happy to try to make rescues and if, if folks don't leave, it, it, it makes our job harder when, when the storm is passed and when we come back. The more people are here, the harder it is for us to get our job done. And it's more people that we may potentially have to go rescue instead of them being in a safe location. Um, if you talk to most of the people who stay here during Matthew, they say they'll never do that again. Um, and that's a, that's a great, great motivator for people to leave. It's just starting, and we know that we've got many months ahead of us.
And if we don't have those proper plans in place from home to travel to after storm effects, then you're not doing yourself a service. Heed the warnings from, from not just federal, but, but the state and, and local entities to make certain that you know what's going on. You know, there's wind, there's rain, there's lightning, there's tornadoes, there's floods, there's everything you can imagine all packed into one, and it will affect your life. And if we do get hit, fortunately we'll be blessed again, but if you are affected, know that you can't be replaced, but your property can, so make certain you take care of yourself.